Good morning, everybody. We had like a real rain and hard wind, and look, it blew over my banana plant. So I am out here to try to get it stand back up and tied up. And if you look down here, you can see the bananas are starting to come out, and this is a little heavy. So they haven't broken off, so we're gonna tie it up against this fence line. So we're gonna try to get this banana plant picked up so it can finish producing the bananas. Okay, couldn't show y'all how I was propping this tree up because I had to use two hands. It was quite a well. But the only thing I could do with this is secure the base. This is bent right here and tie rope and support the stalk until this will finish. It's a small banana rack. Yeah, this is actually to uh, banana plant don't give off big racks. And lucky it would have been a really loss. But I actually can save this and let it finish doing what it's doing. Gonna get some more support. Right now this have to do. This was gonna be used for my yard beans, but um, now I have to wait. I haven't even attempt to prep this up yet. A lot of work to be done back here. Like I said, I haven't been back here in a couple of days for real. Uh, I've been doing other things. I didn't even know my turmeric had flower. I know it was going to flower soon, but look at this turmeric, y'all. Flower is so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at that. I knew it because the stalk was really thick on it. <clears throat> um, showing me that it was going to uh, flower soon. Like my ginger over here, I, I kind of tied it up because it was leaning all over the place, but it actually put out a beautiful flower also. Um, next month on the 5th or maybe the week after, <clears throat> um, I'm supposed to be getting help. Um, to put a drip line system back here. A little monta up butterfly thingy fail. To keep this um, water because it dropped so fast back here. Really fast. You know, the drip line system would definitely help. I also say on the water bill. But I want to show you something I haven't talked about um, in, in a while in my videos. This is my avocado plant Ooh. that I did from seed it was shaded from the beans I had here earlier um, during the summer but it actually took the cold very well and it can burn a little bit from the heat but other than that it's actually putting on new growth uh, I put the pit down in here and it like it this weekend, I'll be cleaning out this bed completely out. I'm um, with my pepper plants. They really like tall. I ain't doing as well as I want to. I'm gonna put them in. I have some one gallon grow bags. Now, I think I'm gonna put my pepper plants in there and let them grow in beds. Um, this here I'm redoing. I put a lot of flowers, some um, zinnias down here. They still on the sprout. Some of them still on the sprout, but get really, like I said, really dry in these beds and um, just can't wait to get my drip line system started next month and it's like a little fluid irrigation system just to wet the ground just a little bit for my food forest they come up with a plan I'm just gonna be here videoing it um, doing it step by step what pieces they using how they doing the trench uh, I'll be a couple of um, series on that also we didn't get this um, chance to finish doing the mural, and her husband had to work. And as soon as he get through um, doing his work from out of town or something like that, I guess she told me, I can't quite remember, that we'd be back to come finish this side up to make it dark pink like that on there. I got my lights up, so it'd be really bright at night here. You see the lights, but you can't see them on because it's sun. Let me see, sir. They're on. 
and it'd be really pretty bright back here. Um, I got the mulch in my shed that I'm going to put back here on the ground. And got to buy one of those shade tarps to go across here to shade out this part. So when you're doing a little video on talking, I might do like a couple of videos back here. Just sitting back here talking to you all about so many things I want to do for the um, end of the summer. What I want to plant. I got some stuff started in my greenhouse. It's pretty, y'all. I can't wait to just get done. I just sit back here relaxing. Uh, Show my face, of course. Right now it's turned around all the way because actually this is something I decided to do. And surprise, y'all. I just seen that sitting here. Okay, y'all. Look what I see over here sitting down. It's my Texas cream, cream guava. It's the first fruit of the year on this here plant. Usually I get like six or seven. Maybe I got burned back. So having one fruit is good. I'm going to puree it into a sauce. And also my banana plant. I am a little upset that it fell over. But it's still going to make it. I popped it up. Can't wait till these small break bananas fully develop and be delicious for me and the children. Still excited from my yard to yours, everybody. I'm Pat Smith. Bye.